In this video, we have to determine if the relation given by this diagram actually defines a function. So over here in this uh, left yellow circle, this is actually called the domain. And over here, this is called the range of the relation. So this will be a function if each of these guys, so each x and this set corresponds to exactly one y in this set. So each of these guys has to get sent to one and only one of the elements over here. So let's see. Three, this guy goes to seven, so that's okay. Four, it goes to eight, and it doesn't go anywhere else. Two goes to nine, and it doesn't go anywhere else. However, one, this element is getting sent to ten, and this element is also getting sent to 9. So this violates the condition of being a function, right? We have an x value, which is 1, and it's going to two different elements. So this is not a function. You might say, well, I thought functions were always defined in terms of formulas, like f of x equals a number. Well, that's true. They can be defined that way. And let's try to think about this problem that way. So in this case, this is our x value. So if it were a function, you would have f of 1 equal to 9, right? This is via the first arrow. It's going to 9. At the same time, 1 is always also going to 10. So you would have f of 1 equal to 10. Well, this would imply that 9 is equal to 10, which is not true. So hopefully that made some sense.